We already have the Platinum Trophy on Marvel Spider-Man and Miles Morales, so today we are getting the Platinum Trophy in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The game consists of 47 trophies. These range from story, combat and collectibles, as well as a few others. So let's get straight into it. Okay, let's go. Start the game selecting the superhero difficulty so that this game only requires one playthrough. The game starts you off two years in the past as Peter Parker, and in this opening scene we actually witness the unfortunate death of Uncle Ben. Oh. Call an ambulance! Oh. Oh. Somebody help! Oh. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben, hang on! This then sends us to the present day and Spider-Man is trying to find Uncle Ben's killer known as Dennis Carradine. We get a lead on Carradine's whereabouts through a man known as Herman Schultz. You want the guy in the picture? Huh? Look for a gun dealer in Alphabet City. Okay, he goes by Carradine. However, we quickly discover that Carradine has actually been killed by someone known as the Carnage Killer. It's then up to us to find the Carnage Killer and put a stop to him. <laughs> oh my God. 911, what is your emergency? I need to report a dead body. Fast forward a bit into the story and we are actually fighting back at Schultz's gang as well as the Russian mob who have decided to raid the Oscorp building. It's here where we earn our first trophy for hitting a 42 combo. I can't work under these conditions. Your breath reeks. And after fighting our way through a few waves of enemies, we then come face to face with Schultz who is now calling himself the Shocker after he stole a pair of vibro shot gauntlets. This brings us to our first boss fight of the game. The boss fight as a whole was not challenging, in fact there were a few stages to it. The first stage is just a standard one on one fight and after getting Shocker to half health, he then brings up these pillars which we just need to pull him down from to then fight him on the ground once again. From here it was just rinse and repeat once his health was fully depleted. <laughs> This then rewards us with the shocking trophy and after the cutscene we also earn another trophy and this one is for unlocking the seismic blast ability. We then go for one of the worst trophies I've ever gotten in a video game. Scattered around the map there are these comic book pages and for the trophy bookworm you have to collect all 285 pages. This honestly took me a few good hours to do and almost made me stop playing the game entirely. So I was that fed up when it came to the end of it. We then went for the true hero trophy and for this you just need to reach max heroism at any point in the game. Unlock this naturally as the next set of missions in the game were just showing me the different criminal activities and the side missions that appear in the open world. We are then introduced to gang hideouts and these are areas on the map that are scattered about filled with a handful of enemies who are guarding a spider-man suit for some reason. Clearing all of these gives you a trophy but the trophy we actually earn here is for completing a hideout without alerting any of the guards. bit further on in the stories where we earn the lightweight champion trophy and this is earned by defeating 100 enemies. And at this point in the story we have met and are now teaming up with Craven the Hunter in order to find the Carnage Killer. After tracking him down we confront him and he reveals his name to be Cletus Cassidy. This leads us to our next boss fight which is ridiculously easy and after promptly defeating Cassidy we earn the Is It Over trophy. I told him you'd never be like me. Come to Papa. And Cassidy is then arrested and taken to the Ravencroft Institute where he is then experimented on with Venom. Good day, Mr. Cassidy. My name is Donald Mencken. I want to assure you that you are a most valued guest here at Ravencroft. We're going to learn a lot from you. And I'll learn a lot from you. Answers you don't even know you have. <laughs> Eager. I like that. Well then, let's get started, shall we? After a few missions, we receive word that there has been a break-in at a local museum. We arrive at the scene and after dispatching of a few common enemies, we then come face to face with Black Cat, who has been released from jail by Kingpin. This leads us to another boss fight, and even though we did end up dying to her <coughs> once, it was once again a very easy fight. We quickly dispatch the Black Cat, which in turn earns us another trophy for doing so. I kind of feel like you don't respect me. Don't 
We then decided to do a few of the hideouts and while doing so we earned the all tied up trophy for defeating 50 enemies with stealth takedowns and then shortly after that we then walk into an ambush set by Craven. This then leads us to another boss fight and right at the start of it we earn ourselves a trophy for achieving 100 critical hits. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. The Craven fight was one of my more memorable fights in this game. Not only were we fighting Craven on the ground, but he also spawned these shadow versions of himself. He then retreats up into the trees and we have to locate him and pull him down before he shoots us. It was then rinse and repeat until we defeat him, thus earning the Hunter Hunted Trophy. No! That's your way! On my watch, no one dies! After the cutscene, we also earn a trophy for unlocking the Ionic Web ability. Before we progress in the story, we decide to finish all remaining hideouts, and this sees us earn the Infiltration Trophy. And then shortly after that, we also earn the Vigilante Trophy. We then discover the whereabouts of Kingpin's secret base, and after breaking this armoured guard's armour, we then earn the Aerial Break Trophy. Now. Come face to face with King Ping and here starts another boss fight. This boss fight was a bit tricky as it required you to time your seismic blast ability at the correct time so that King Ping charges into the wall. And at a later stage of the fight he actually brings in a couple of armoured guards which makes the fight a bit of a challenge. After defeating him we then earn another trophy. You're so bad when you go camping the bears hide their food. <laughs> We then come face to face with Electro and this starts yet another boss fight. I kid you not, this is pretty much what happened straight after the Kingpin fight. Again, like the other fights, this one wasn't too difficult. It actually did have three stages to it. The first is where we just have a standard fight against him on the street, web him up and attack him, rinse and repeat. We then have a little chase scene against him which takes us to the third stage, which is basically stage one again, but this time on a roof and Electro has a few different abilities. After beating him, we earn his trophy. And we then see a scene which sees Harry Osborne receive the Spider Venom that in turn transforms him into the Green Goblin. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, you were right. Fisk is buying up Oscorp stock for a hostile takeover. But as long as you're here, I'm confident we can stop it. Right. As long as I'm here. I have it, uh, sir. Richard uh, Parker's Spider Venom formula. But every time it's been used, there have been serious side effects. More serious than death? I'll take my chances. Now get out! We also see another cutscene showing that Venom has reacted to Cassidy's body. Dr. Kafka, is that supposed to happen? No. I'll shut it down. While we are removing bombs placed around the city by Goblin, we earn ourselves a trophy for performing 15 signature moves. This then takes us to, you guessed it, another boss fight. It starts off with us chasing the Goblin through the city but avoiding his bombs that he sometimes throws behind him. Until it leads us to a rooftop and from here we need to web shoot the drones that follow him and then throw them back at him trying to knock him down from his glider. We repeat this a few times until we then end up on the back of his glider and now we're just causing havoc while whacking the goblin on the back of his head gliding through the city. This takes us back to the rooftop and similar to stage one, we have to once again shoot down the drones and throw them at the goblin. Rinse and repeat this until we defeat him and earn the green goblin trophy. We then head over to Ravencroft after hearing the news about Cassidy. Upon arriving there, it's all out war between some of the criminals and some of the forces already there. It's here we earn a few combat related trophies in a short span from each other. The first is for breaking 20 body armors. We then defeat 300 enemies and finally after disarming 50 enemies, we earn the drop it trophy. After making our way through Ravencroft, we come face to face with Cassidy once again, who we discover has this newfound strength thanks to the Venom symbiote. He then calls himself Carnage, and the fight against Cassidy is very easy. This time, he's just a tad faster. After defeating him, a cutscene then plays, and after an exchange of dialogue, Cassidy completes his transformation into Carnage. You're little spider, you're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. You're starting to talk me out of it. 
See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Death. <laughs> This fight, like the others, wasn't difficult. All we had to do was keep finding a way to get Carnage into the fire as this deals significant damage. While doing so, we also earned the Friendly Fire Trophy, and after a few minutes of repeating the same thing, we eventually beat Carnage and earned the Now It's Over Trophy, as well as all three trophies for beating the game on the required difficulty. Now with the main story beat, it was time to do all the clean up trophies. But it's here where the video becomes a bit messy. Fortunately, the rest of the footage for this recording session got corrupted, so I've had to use the auto capture from PlayStation, which has only saved the last 15 seconds of the trophy. So here's a quick trophy montage of the remaining trophies. This now leads us up to the Platinum Trophy, and the final trophy that we need is to reach maximum level for all suits. There are a total of 13 suits in the game, and the max level is 8. Alright, I've literally been at this for hours. I have got every single suit to max level bar one we are finally on the final suit and i thought what better suit to end it on than my personal favorite suit the amazing spider-man 2012 suit from the first film and the first amazing spider-man game i love this suit let's go get this suit to level eight and then we'll finally have this platinum trophy we are so close this is taking me nearly an hour just to do one suit so you can probably imagine how long it's taken to do all of them uh all i gotta do i've just got to head to this place deadlock and then once i've done it i might even i might even pop it during it but once i've done it the, the xp that you earn from it should be enough for me to be level eight and and finally get the last two trophies we need. But I genuinely think this guy will be shut this down now. Ultimate Spider-Man. Which is reach maximum level for all suits. So that was everything a spider can. It is done. Amazing Spider-Man 2. God. It's been a it's been a long one, this one. I'd started playing this game back in June. For like two months it's taken me to get this. Two months. I've, I've persevered. Played through this average game. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next one.